Yeah, yeah, but this is something. Yeah, like I said, this is coming to street. I have to do it again. I don't know what just happened. Uh, I know we see Robert, you know, he fought the rain. And I'm just going to just talk about how I feel. Like, we did see him. Also, also, and then we know that her ex-husband is back because he was wondering why they didn't come back. And Vicky changed his mind like she wanted to spend time with him. And he did get engaged with both Michelle and Vicky. Like I said, they're going to find out. Michelle did come red the hell out of him. But she apologized for what she said because she was upset because she wanted to call it off. But he said, no. He said, no, I can fix this. But we all know that it was a lie that he got robbed. But, well... Let's just say it kind of was, because he did broke in that man's face, that man's van, and he stole the ring, and, his, and he looked in the wallet. And that's when he found out that he seen them both. And he said, if you tell, you call, if you tell the police about what I did, I'm going to tell Vicky what, how you treating her. Because let's not forget, he don't trust Robin not one bit. And then get, Vicky probably don't even know that Michelle... That he still seen Michelle, or maybe she does, maybe she just don't know the full story. But I just wanted to talk about it a little bit, cause I'm not gonna talk about everything now. But I know we got to see Yan, you know, trying to explain to Eileen why he, what he did, what he did, and he robbed for a good reason, when he protected her. We got to see uh, um, what was her name? Polly, is that her name? And we know that. Holly knew him, but she kind of knew of him. Uh, you know, talked to Eileen about it, and he know that she also know that she he cared about Eileen, and he did want her to come with her. I mean, he did want her to come with him, but she couldn't. And I think she said no, that she can't leave anything behind because her life is here, her friends are here, her family, and what's gonna happen with Steph if she if she leave? Because he don't have no place to go, and we don't even know where his mother stay at. Because we haven't seen her that much in this episode. But, yeah. Adam might find out what's going on with Gary, because pretty much, you know, he's, no, he's not a fan of Gary, the way he treats Sarah. Man, let's not forget that he will find out that Gary is hiding something and try to threaten the dude. Let's not forget he's just like Rick, and no one can see it but me. I hope somebody will see, and I saw Sharon will probably see that. Now we know that David will be getting out maybe in two more months and he'll make it up to Sona. You know, everything will be good. We know Fizz will be back, I think, this week about hope and I can't wait to see what happens. But anyway, I just want to talk about it. I have to do it over because we got to see Emma and Amy spend time together, get to know each other. When you see Tracy, you see Steve, want to get to know her as well. But I like I said, like Liz said, she'll talk to him when she get when she's ready. Just give her some time. And I don't think she hate him, she's just upset with him, disappointed, like heartbroken. But anyway, that's all I have to say about this episode of Corneille Street. Make sure you wait, comment, subscribe, make sure you share the video and turn on notification. Peace out, I'll see you next for the video for East Standard. Peace.